So we talked about you know, flexibility options coming up out of the supply chain in the SNOP, getting translated on their way in into key performance metrics, financial metrics that, that the company wants to weigh in on. That said, it isn't you know, obviously just a product of supply chain. We need to have all the functions involved because ultimately that financial impact and that customer impact spans uh, you know, the rest of the business, the customer facing the sales and marketing teams. Those are the people that are going to say, hey, if we don't have enough of this product, you know, I believe that half our customers are going to be willing to wait in backlog and we can, we can still make the sale. Uh, and the other half are going to go somewhere else, so they're not going to buy the product. Or, you know, for product line B versus if that was product line A, you know, we think 90% of the people are going to wait around. Or we think we're going to lose a customer relationship. It's not just a question of losing a sale and that the revenue associated with that particular unit. It's, you know, these guys are, are going to design in something else, so they're going to get frustrated and, and build a relationship elsewhere. So you know we're we're trying to balance the customer versus the supply chain, and we need everybody to weigh in, and all of that has to get baked into these performance trade-offs. So we need people's input, and we need the capability to to quantify that input, to integrate these different sources of data into a, into a set of metrics that people feel ownership of and, and alignment and accountability around. But that also, you know, their activities are primarily sort of supported by technology that, that makes this a scalable, repeatable, quality controlled uh, process.